Hey howdy hey partners, today we have Space Ranger Gear Buzz Lightyear. Let's get into it. I am Socks, your personal companion robot, and I regret having joined you. You're watching Today I Grew Up, Lightyear Edition. Enjoy the review. You can also click the card here in the corner of your screen, and that'll take you to all the Lightyear toy reviews that I'm reviewing on this channel. Super excited today because we finally got the mission ready pieces that accompany our Space Ranger Alpha Buzz, which is really great because we have gotten this Buzz from Mattel before, but difference is we have the purple head covering there, and we also have a helmet, a gun, laser gun, and also a jetpack. So that is really cool for accessories. This time he has the suit that everybody wants, which is the Space Ranger Alpha Gear, which is super cool. And here on the back, you can see that it comes with all these awesome accessories. Here is Buzz Lightyear looking super cool. No Lightyear on the chest. Why Mattel do you torture me with that every single time? Looks really good though. I mean, I do like the colors. I do like the buttons where they're painted at least. We do have the same articulation and paint app details, which are missing all over the suit. Uh, it's really, really sad. But we do have the Space Ranger logo on the sleeve, which I always appreciate. I do plan on modifying my buzz at some point. I know a lot of people online are doing it. Uh, it's pretty cool that I've well, from what I've seen out there. So very cool. Nothing on the other side. Articulation is the same as the other one. It's just got side to side. Nothing really up and down for head movement. Arms do swing out pretty nicely there. He's got a nice elbow joint as well. 360 rotation at the wrist. He's got the splits there. Really nice on the knees articulation. Nothing at the bottom there. Legs can go forward, can go back about there. Uh, pretty good, it's good enough uh, for posing. And we have some awesome accessories, which is the whole reason why to get this buzz. I'm really excited because we have a helmet and it actually fits on Buzz. And it snaps right into place. There you go, there's the helmet. And I just love the option that it's removable. And we'll test to see if this works on the other Buzz that we got, the one with the hair head sculpt. But I like that the helmet is easy to put on, easy to take off. The next awesome accessory is this cool jetpack. I do appreciate that it's painted red in there. At least we have some two-tone effects. Nothing else is really fancy on there. We do have the caution, like yellow and black stripes. Very simple design, nothing too crazy, nothing too extravagant. It is does feel like cheaper plastic, but you know, for the price point of 20 bucks, I'm not gonna complain too bad. I found this on Amazon. I just wish that the wingtips were painted, but you know, we can always add our own paint later to mod it. There is a hole in the back there to line up. So then you just kind of push it in like that. It looks pretty good. I think it looks awesome. It looks like the iconic scene from the movie when Buzz finally pops out his wings in space and he is uh, flying through the air, which is pretty cool. And I do like the jetpack on him. I think it looks really cool. It reminds me of the other Buzz that we just got, but pretty cool. I think it's awesome and the wings are collapsible. The only thing I would have added obviously would be cool if you had a wing you know, button press mechanism like we got with the other Buzz. But for 20 bucks, like I said, I'm actually not surprised they didn't include that. But at least for display purposes, I think it looks best with his wings stretched out because that looks more true to the film. I think when the wings are down like that, it doesn't look as nice. But, you know, at least they're removable. So if you don't even want the wings, uh, you can just pose them without the wings too. So that is cool and it gives them more playability as well. We do get this nice uh, laser gun accessory, which is pretty cool, this blaster. A pretty simple in design, it is very cool. Here's Buzz holding his laser gun in his hand, looks really good and posed really well. I think it looks pretty awesome. And yeah, it looks legit, I think it's pretty cool. There is nothing on the side I see to holster the weapon, so you he has to carry it or otherwise you have to put it down because it doesn't have a hole. I wish it had a hole in the side to like holster the weapon, but you know, that's just a minor complaint. I think it's really cool. Now, it's a very basic figure, doesn't talk or anything, but for display, I think this one is one of my favorite ones now. Uh, it's very, very cool. Let's do a little comparison with the other Mattel Buzz. Here's the other Mattel Buzz. It is basically the same thing. We're gonna see if this is swappable and see if it attaches to this helmet. And actually, it does. 
not. So Mattel did not make this interchangeable. As you see, there's a notch there to clip the helmet. Also a notch here in the front. So because there's no missing plastic pieces to nestle that helmet, unfortunately, you cannot put this on here. I mean, you could rest it on there like this, but it's not going to look good because there's going to be separation. So you see it doesn't clip on. So that does not work. But I think if you did a head swap and transplanted this head onto this body, then you can, you can achieve that look if you really want to. I'm not going to do that because I kind of like Buzz with his head, purple head covering for this look. But, you know, if you wanted to get crafty, get another Buzz, you could definitely do that if you wanted to. Now, a big surprise is that the wings actually do fit on. There is a hole behind Buzz just like this on this Buzz. So the helmet is not interchangeable, but surprisingly, the jetpack is interchangeable. So that is really weird, and I don't know... <laughs> how that's possible so they changed the design for the helmet but they didn't change they didn't change the fact that you know you could put this on this buzz for whatever weird reason so in case you were curious what that looks like you know you just put the wings down and that's what he looks like i think it looks cool on him too and it just looks a little weird but yeah so you know you can interchange that part the other thing I wish I had for this Buzz, which I don't have, is his laser on his arm. They do sell a Buzz on Amazon, we could see in the picture here, and you have to pay, spend another 20 something dollars to get it. I might do it in the future just because I want the accessory. But then if I got the laser arm accessory, then I would have the blaster here, I would have the laser arm accessory, I have the wings accessory. I also have the blade accessory that came with XL15 Buzz, so that's cool, and then I would have all the accessories. Uh, for the Ranger Alpha Buzz in this Mattel action figure scale, which I think is pretty cool. And uh, I do plan to finish collecting that to pose him with all his intended accessories. So here you can see the Jetpack Liftoff Buzz Lightyear. His wingspan is actually seems a little longer. He has better detail painted on the wings there, as you can see. The Jetpack is similar. And let's see with the wings length there. Well, actually, the Jetpack Liftoff Buzz has longer wings, a little bit longer, which I like. And the back, yeah, actually, what's nice, what's nicer here is this Jetpack, because it has ugly screw holes there. This is actually a nicer looking Jetpack right here, aesthetically, than the Jetpack Liftoff Buzz, which is $50, by the way. So I wish Mattel would have made the Jetpack look as good as this one on the $20 toy on the $50 toy. So that is very interesting. Other than that, though, I do think the wings are superior on this Jetpack Liftoff Buzz. That is a bummer, though, to see that. And of course, you know, this is manual. There's no button that works here on the chest. But the cool thing about the Jetpack Liftoff Buzz, you press the button and his wings deploy just like Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story, which is really, really cool. So I wanted to show you that quick difference between these two. His green seems a little bit better here too. This one looks a little bit brighter, which I think it looks more like the movie on this one. So little details like that, which makes Jetpack Liftoff Buzz a little better with the green detail, especially at the bottom there. Little details like that, but. And also it's just white here and it's silver. I think it's supposed to be more silver there as well. But you can't take the helmet off on this one and you can take the helmet off on this one. Here we have a quick comparison of the Chris Evans light up blade and talking Chris Evans. This is not removable from his hand, which I don't like. He doesn't have a helmet. It's not interchangeable because it doesn't have those grooves. So it is what it is. You know, each buzz has their pros and cons in my opinion. You know, there's things I like about each one of these. Like I mentioned, you know, some backs of the buzz are better than others. I do like this action figure because he actually really does look like Buzz from the movie with his full wings and helmet and I like that it's removable and it's, I don't know, aesthetically I feel like this is one of the best Buzzes to get and for the price point of $21.99, really can't go wrong with this guy. Here we have a nice lineup of all the 12 inch Mattel Buzzes that we've gotten so far. I'm truly disappointed in Mattel's inability to put Lightyear on the chest of Buzz Lightyear. The only Lightyear nameplate we got on this chest was on a 7 inch action figure Alpha Class, which was not fun. Uh, because it's just, I like the 12 inch scale. It's closer to the Buzz Lightyear we know from Toy Story. And I really think Mattel needs to fix that. And if they don't, we're going to have to mod it ourselves, which is most likely going to be true. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Which Buzz do you like so far for the Lightyear Buzz releases for the 12 inch scale? 
my personal preference is going to be so far i really like the action figure this here on the right that i just got i think the jetpack is nicer you know it is lacking the detail on the wingtip for the light but it is nicer visually to me the only thing i wish this buzz did had a removable helmet it doesn't have that he does have the pop out wings with a button which i do really like and he has better painted details on the bottom so these buzzes are pretty much tied for me because what one lacks the other one has you know vice versa so these two are my favorite buzzes here's this quick side view of all the buzzes so you can see what they look like for the side profile and you can see here that this new buzz i got is missing the green detail right here and so is the other cheaper buzz you know but the 30 dollar buzz and the 50 dollar buzz they added the green detail on the hand and on the trim on the bottom and so that's a bummer that we didn't get it on the you know the cheaper or budget versions here's the back view so you partners can see a little bit more what i'm talking about here about the detail of the jetpack not as good here oh here on the back of this buzz for the light up blade chris evans talking version this one's very simple very plain so is this one as well without the jetpack but that's how you know the differences between these buzzes and for fun this is my complete collection of the ranger alpha suits for the new lightyear movie of the lightyear buzz you can see the alpha class buzz there it's the only buzz we have with the lightyear on the chest very crazy we have all the five inch scale buzzes right below there with the glow in the dark exclusive buzz the xl15 exclusive buzz that came with the ship the mission equipped buzz lightyear and the crystal grade series buzz exclusive to walmart very cool to see all the ranger alpha suits let me know in the comment section below which buzz do you have do you have all of them are you planning to collect these too i think they're really nice they're really neat and at some point i'm gonna have to figure out which ones i'm gonna keep and probably gonna sell because it is getting really big this collection and i'm gonna do a collection video at the end of the week so you get to see all my lightyear toys but for now this is a snapshot of all my ranger alpha suit buzz light years and there you have it the brand new ranger alpha suit 12 inch mattel buzz lightyear with mission pack accessories super excited to have it the blade does not come with this buzz but i had it so i had to put it in his other hand because i thought it looked really cool but you do get some great accessories for only $21.99 it's not a bad price uh, you can get it on amazon.com i don't know where else you could find this buzz and i just really like this buzz i think it looks super cool i love the jetpack detail on the back i love the wings that pop out i think it looks really nice it's just really great for a dynamic posing action figure on your shelf non-talking buzz and it's really really nice for the price point i really really like it and it's a nice addition to the rest of my collection as always partners thank you so much for watching liking and commenting on these videos it really helps support what i do here on youtube you want to continue to support me on this journey all you have to do is hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you're alerted for future videos on my channel and i'll see you partners on the next video review